Hello, I'm Mrs. Vilberg and welcome to Makeup by the Vilbergs. Today we're doing this hot pink cotton candy look. I hope you like it. Hey guys, time for another drag makeup tutorial. Today's look is very pink and glitzy and it's one of our favorite club looks. We like to use a real thick coverage as a base when doing drag makeup. And this time we're using Kryolan Supper Color in five different colors. Today we're going to show you a trick how to always get your eyebrows even. We're going to do them in the wet paint, starting by outlining the shape with the light color, and when you have a shape that you like, you go in with the color of the eyebrow. Since the paint is still wet, you can always backtrack and start over as many times as it takes to get them even. We're using the Color Wheel Burn Injury by Cryolon and only using the light pink for the base, and after that we use the dark red to make them sharper. When you have an eyebrow shape that you like, you go in with the white wet paint underneath the eyebrow and cut the eyebrow just as sharp as you like it. And then you blend it with a clean sponge. Now you use the same colors to define the false eye crease. Even take some color underneath the eye and blend. When finished, clean up the line of the eyelid with the white wet paint. And now you're ready to set everything with your translucent powder. First step after you set your face with the translucent powder is to pick up the color with a great blush. We apply it all over the contoured areas of the face and then we go in with a smaller brush around the nose. This makes the contouring look more soft and less corpsey. Just as important as the blush is to brighten up all of those naturally dark places in your face. Start with a white eyeshadow followed by a beige one. Underneath your eyebrows, eyes, under your nose and the corners of your mouth. We need some really bold colors for this look, so today we're using this colorful palette by Sleek. We're using the pink, purple and black to frame the eye going back and forth with the colors until we like what we see. When you're finished with the eyeshadows and have brushed off all the loose powder under the eyes, we like to go over the eyeshadows with a clean, medium sized brush just to blend the colors a bit extra. After we fill the eyelid with color, we use a sharp wet eyeliner to make the eye crease even sharper. This is especially important when the colors underneath and above the eye crease are similar shades. Remember to go over it with a black eyeshadow afterwards.
To avoid your new eye crease looking like a black caterpillar, you softly blend it out with some more pink. It's time for eyeliner. We're using our favorite and the best thing is to slam the whole thing on and then clean it up by using a perfection liner for sharp clean edges. Remember to cover it with at least two layers of black eyeshadow when done for a matte finish. Shimmer is always the Mrs. favorite part, and when you're doing a bold makeup like this one, you can use a more compact white shimmer, like the one we're using here from Peggy Sage. Even if we did the brows in the blending stage of the makeup, doesn't mean that we can't give them another good pounding with the color. More fun than nerve-wracking now that the hard part is done, right? It's time for glitter! And we're using this one today. And it have, have so many colors. We're using this one. This is actually really good because it's easy to travel with. And there's like so many colors. And like they're so beautiful. We're using this one. And as you can see, it's a favorite because it's almost empty. We really love this Kryolan product. It's a lip gloss, but as any product, you can put it wherever you want. We love using it, this one, to make glitter stick where glitter usually needs help sticking to, like the beginning of your new fat pink ombre eyebrows. Lashes. Apply mascara, curl and repeat before putting the falsies on. And when in drag, going bigger is always better. We're drawing the shape of the lips with the same light pink supper color that we used for the eyebrows. The goal is to create a sticky base for the next step. Gently cover the lip in sleek color pink pop that we use for the eye using a soft brush. Final step is to make them real luscious with a sparkly lip gloss. Final touches now, just go over the contouring with the blush one more time before diving headfirst into the highlights. And for highlights we're using another sleek product, the Highlight Palette. Go over your cheekbones, forehead, bridge of your nose and finally your upper lip to make your head shine as never before. So, the makeup is done, so I'm going to jump into my clothes and then into my wig. See you soon! The makeup is done and I feel like a bowl of candy. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Bye!